old school bodybuilding clothing company. If you wish your fancy fitness center was a hardcore gym, you are old school. If you just ate chicken and rice and are about to eat chicken and rice, you are old school. OSBBC.com for the hardest training athletes. I'm a thing of stun! And I'm a week and a half! Look at him! Look at him! They just came out! Look at that! I love it! We're back again for another installment of After Hours. I'm Dave Palumbo, and I'm here with the Whack Pack, John Romano, Greg Valentino, Mr. G, and I think Jimmy the Bull will be joining us a little later. John, what's going on over there? Over here, very little, Dave. It's it's uh, the, the, it, it's the week it's the week of Thanksgiving. I know that means a lot's going on. You're a cooker. You cook. I, I'm I'm trying to avoid it this this year completely. I don't want. I'm not going anywhere. I don't want anybody coming here. You sound like my grandmother. She, every year from, uh -huh. from seventy on, she was like, "I'm not cooking anymore. I'm not doing this anymore." And then she'd throw up, whip up this huge uh, feast. I don't mind doing it. I mean, I really enjoy doing it. Just this year, I'm just not into it. I'm just Val and I just want to. We actually want to hope the weather's going to go, be good, and we want to go ride, you know, our bikes. Oh, that you're not nice. into it, though. Not It's got nothing to do with the COVID shit. Like, you're not buying into all this bullshit, right? No, it's got nothing to Actually, I actually found a way around this whole COVID thing with, with, uh, with respect to how many people you can have in your house. It's very simple. The law, the, the edict now is in some states like California, I guess New York, New Jersey, it's like six or 10. You can only have like six <laughs> or 10 people at, for Thanksgiving, right? I didn't and even know that. To, yes. You know, two yeah, families it's, it's and, 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 the, and no dogs. And if the neighbor sees you, they're allowed to shoot you <laughs> and, and, all, and all of these crazy <laughs> but, but But if you have a funeral, a funeral is 25 people. So, <laughs> So, so here's what we're doing. So here's what the solution is. You want to have 25 people over your house for Thanksgiving? No problem. You're having a funeral for your pet turkey, Butterball. So, <laughs> so Butterball died, and you know because he's Jewish, he's got to be. He's got to. Got to sit shiver for him, right? Right. Exactly. So you had to sit shiver for him. So you have all these people over at the house <laughs> sitting shiver. You, 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 and then you can and. So we eat them. You, well, too. you got to feed them. That's part of the Jewish tradition. Believe me, I know. You got to feed them while they sit and shiver. Problem solved. You got to get the little crates though got... to sit on, John. That's part right. of the, the well, process. You know, you're gonna have to improvise a little bit. But I mean, you know. Pro... So if you want more than two, if you want more than six people at your house for Thanksgiving, just call it a fucking funeral. I... Then they, there you they, go. COVID won't bother those twenty five. You people. know it's we're like... you know we're living in a in, in a dictatorship now when we we have to try to like. Uh, uh, you know, finagle our way into having more people at our house for Thanksgiving. That's pretty bad. Forget about that. Forget about that. Forget, for, forget the funeral. Why don't you just say you're fucking rioting? Take a bunch of Black Lives Matter signs, throw a fucking rock through your own fucking window and shit like that. You know, burn one of your trees on your lawn down and shit, and you could have everybody in the neighborhood come over. That's right. Shit, the, 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 point is, never touch. The, the point is the hypocrisy. It's just oh, yeah. the absolute hypocrisy and 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 the and the effort to get people to not think. So six people at, at Thanksgiving, seven is a disaster, but twenty five at a wake is okay. Right. Rioting is okay, but you know what, what do they call that now? Mass ma mass exposure or or some kind of created new term now we have. Hey, hey go John, Governor Murphy. Governor Murphy got screamed at. He was at a, he was at a restaurant with his whole family with no mask, and two two New Jersey uh, well transplant New York girls, you know, they they moved to Jersey and they berated him. They called him a dick, an asshole, you know, <laughs> right? They were right up to his thing. You got ball, you know, you got to look at the video. <laughs> yeah, right. You know what happened? Happens. Nothing's gonna happen about that, Hi, Mr. Nothing. G. Mr. Nothing. G. How come you? Fucking thing. How come Mr. G's connection is so good today? What did you do over there? I, I clean. I cleaned my. You know how it's good. I cleaned my uh, my screen on my uh, phone. I told you to do that. I knew that was camera. it. I told it, it was schmutz on the camera. Well, because well, I mean, it was really bad because last night I had a Zoom call 
with a, with one of our fans who you know who uh, reached out. You know, he was feeling depressed and stuff. So I, I did. His, he's uh, up in Canada, so I, I had a Zoom call with him last night. And uh, you know how I I, you know, I got animated, and at the end we did a whole thing I do with the uh, I used to do with the kids at the camp. You know, to, to he help threw the phone and, and a piece of crust came off the lens and it fell off the floor. And all of a sudden, he was able to see again. I had to, wait, where he is, they're in, they're up in, in Canada, Toronto or Ontario. They have the whole, or the whole city is locked down for four days, so they can't go to the, the, all to any of the gyms. They're they fucking nuts the up there, bro. They're nuts. I love my Canadian brothers and sisters. That Trudeau, though, is a fucking. Yeah. Well, that's He's why they have no COVID there, because they keep locking, they keep locking them no, down. Look at that. It's a Chinese flu. I, t- I told them, first of all, don't matter if they lock down the gym. The gym is between your ha- ears. That's where the gym is. Inside you. The gym's inside you. All you got to do is envision it, you know? Yeah. So, so I gave them the 100 yeah, reps. Work. It's a pair of dumbbells, so I gave them the Mahalik, Mahalik 100 reps. <laughs> Mahalik pep talk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he gave them the Mahalik workout, too, John. No, he wanted the guy. The guy read up about Mahalik and wanted, to, and he had. I guess he learned about the diet and stuff, and, and wanted to uh, wanted to to get back into it. You know yeah. how yeah. how disappointing it is that so that Mahalik wasn't around for social media. Could, could could you imagine how different his life would 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 have been if he was able to have you know an Instagram account or a Facebook account? Right? Yeah, he, I don't know. He would have been know. one of the most popular people on on on, on around. Yeah, but God, he's he not a guy that wouldn't have done it though. I don't know. I couldn't picture Mahalik. Oh, he would have. He was an actor for sure. He would have loved oh, it. Come on, he would have. It up? Are you kidding me? Ray would have talked about. Then I got cancer, and then I got rid of cancer, and then no. cancer came back, me, and I kicked that cancer, and then you know what happened? I got cancer, and then <laughs> he, 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 he was, was fucking he, nuts. Though. I don't know. I, I, I got these four hundred pound bodybuilders. They're all natural. He had me on, tw- on News Twelve. I was all natural. Girl, hundred pound dumbbell. I'm on News Twelve. Here's one of my natural guys. I'm like, listen, Steve. I'm not lying about. I'm not lying. So please. Don't use me on that. If you want to use me as one of your your, your guys that you train, fine. But don't call me a natural guy when I'm not. You know, <laughs> you don't have to lie. The truth is better. Mr. G you was know? known as the White Buffalo. That's that was Mahalik's nickname from from Mr. G. Yeah. Now, now I want to call attention to the what Jimmy the Bull is doing down in the corner there because for you know, get for people who don't know how to drive a commercial vehicle, a big yeah. giant truck what he's doing the shifting he's doing that is not easy to do right no there. No? no you can see him where is he that's he's down in the bottom that's what he's doing with that shifter is freaking difficult you know what is you that know? is that a stick I shift don't see it. yeah but he's shifting he's using his fingers to shift between high mid-range low range he's got like 16 gears there or now 30. why do you have to do that john because you got because the, the, you got to apply the torque of the motor gradually and as in through many gears. The gear ratio is very close together to uh, carry a very heavy, heavy weight. Is there a clutch or no? Yeah, he's doing uh, a clutch. He's, he's this. He's doing what he's doing there is very difficult. Interesting. Now, Mister G, I, I don't know. And Greg didn't know, but uh, he doesn't even isn't aware that you made some uh, some special treats for the holidays under his uh, moniker on his name. Right. Yeah. Well, you, well, I have, a, I have a, I have a puppet. I call it puppet, puppet Momo. <laughs> <What's that? laughs> you never saw Puppet Momo. Puppet Momo. Yeah. Puppet. <laughs> yo, yo, you guys out there. Yeah. I got this guy in my phone. I know this guy. Oh, yeah. He's gonna do. He's gonna do product out there. Yeah. He's got the uh, peanut butter cups, but he's they got a new uh, mouse bar. Protein mouse bar. So get out there now, you momos, and go buy that coconut momo bar now. Yo, so. Oh, shit. So you see that? He made mounds bars that look like uh, Valentino's biceps, right? <laughs> Holy Christ. Where are yeah, they? You got them? Yeah, we, I don't have, well, they're making more. Right, I have, I'm having more made right now. Well, who ate them? You haven't even advertised them yet. Who, who Where did they all go? I have. They were samples. There was only oh. twenty one of them. So, so oh. what I what I did is I actually uh, some of the uh, customers, you know, that, that w- w- when I got them, 
I send stuff out with all the customers. I put stuff. It's it's like Christmas. So, yeah, I never know if I have something extra. I just throw it in for a customer. Gotcha. You know. Now, are you still, doing? Are you doing a Black Friday sale over there? I guess. I mean, yeah, we'll do something. I'm going to do Santa's. Santa's coming tonight to right. to to uh, the, the uh, Mr. Potts Protein Factory. Oh, okay. He wants to. <laughs> he wants to see what. George, why yeah. are you skipping over an entire holiday? Where's the pilgrim outfit? That's right. Where's the Thanksgiving outfit? Yeah. Thanksgiving? Oh, okay. All right. Oh, you know what? I'm, I gotta get your. You're. You're right. I'm gonna get one. I'm gonna get one today. You're too I mean, late. I gotta, I, Thanksgiving well, I, is Thursday. Well, look, you, you're gonna. You people are gonna eat cookies on Thanksgiving, and, and they're gonna leave them out for Santa on Christmas. But That's you right. can't. You can't just skip. Skip the yeah. Hey, I have the pirate thing. Hey, the, uh, Christmas is every day to me. You know, I mean, I have the pirate thing. Can that be like? Can that be a pilgrim thing? The pirate outfit without the patch and without the uh, without Dress the head like turkey. What? <laughs> Dress up like a turkey. You know what? I'm gonna. You, that's I'm a good idea. Turkey. I thought he's a turkey Greg, right now. That's what I'm talking about, Greg. Instagram. You gotta get the the new phone the guy sent you. They want to see you live. They don't want to see you. I like this video. You gotta I'm go live, on this, Greg. I, I, I'm having trouble because my girlfriend really wants me to switch. But did you, reach you haven't turned me. that phone on yet? No. Look. This oh, is I, I, I'm now I'm getting upset with you. Wait a minute. Look. This is it. Did you, Greg. Uh, Greg. Yeah. You, you did the home shopping network. You can make so much. Greg. My oh, good. Hold on. My good client. Guys. Let me explain. People don't know what we're talking about. My good client, Mustafa. Okay, who I've been working with now. He's a great guy. He decided, you know what, he heard Greg talk, and he knows Greg financially maybe is not the best situation, and Greg is very obstinate, he won't buy himself a new phone, so he sent Greg a phone. He doesn't want accolades. I'm giving him the accolades. He doesn't even care. He watches yep. this show. He's a fucking rabid fan of this show. He loves it. He loves Greg. He thinks he's the greatest comedian of all time. So he sends Greg the phone, and I'm like, Greg doesn't want to switch to the phone. He, he thinks you don't like the phone. I said, no, 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 no. Greg doesn't want to use the phone because then his girlfriend's going to make him do his own social media. So it's really a lazy <laughs> aspect to it. It's like my dad would, would do something like that. <laughs> you know, it's funny. It's true because she's, she's right over here. But, but she, you don't know. Greg's that turning red and he can't even tell what they're <laughs> Because he actually, the guy, Mustafa, and my girlfriend actually text each other. Right. It's him. It's her. When he's texting, he's texting her. It's not oh, me. Oh, okay. Because, but she wants me. She's like, get that, use that fucking phone. Why doesn't she throw that phone. thing in the toilet bowl while you're not looking, while you're sleeping? She, she could probably hear you, man. I, I'm there? trying to give her. I want to give her some ideas. Oh Tell her God. to throw the thing in the trash compactor. No, I, it was, uh, Mustafa, I appreciate that so much. Uh, uh, and I, but I, Greg, Greg, go to the go to the phone store and have them transfer your numbers, and then and then throw that piece of junk in the garbage. He has twenty thousand followers on Instagram. I know he's an idiot. He's a momo. You know he doesn't understand. No more. You don't need YouTube. You could now now you can speak directly to your your fans if you have a product or anything you want to promote. You you can go on there and 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 people will will you be able to promote it and sell it. They want to see you. Yeah. And and it's just like you did videos. Four years ago, I saw you driving across the Tappan Zee Bridge and your girlfriend, and you tell the stories. This, this is what people, now you can directly go but to the police. Is, is that, is that, uh, it's not that, is that, I don't, I'm like, I'm really a big social media guy, you know what I mean? I, like, I don't work my Facebook much. I don't, you know, I do the personal Facebook, which you guys are on, you know what I'm saying? The Joe Beans one, but uh, and that's why I made it Joe Beans. So like, Instagram, Greg is like but I don't, Instagram I don't is do these. Hold, it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Tell him okay. you gotta understand something. It you you are a celebrity, like it or not, you are. Right. Okay. So you have a certain. I, I mean, you real. I mean, honestly, you really have a responsibility to that celebrity by making yourself available. You know, to your fans, and like. You know, it, it, some people think that this is, you know, this is a, it's, this is an invasion of my privacy, and I don't want to deal with this. And no, I don't think that. Or, or, or I don't, or it's problematic, or you start getting whatever it is, whatever negative, whatever negative connotation you want to attach to it, you got to change that because it's not negative. 
because the, the, the time we're at now, the, the, the things and the way people are communicating now, you have to, you have to morph with that. You got to change. Yeah, it's you like the telephone. You know, it's like that phone. You're right. It, yeah. You're right. It's like, you know, I don't even really work my own. I'm going to show you, Greg, <laughs> this, I'm going to give you an example. So look at me, put the camera on me here. Now this book, this is the, the best and greatest ever written book on anabolic steroids. Bill Llewellyn's Anabolics. This is the 11th edition, the newest one. Bill and I are very good friends. And I sell a lot of his products. I believe in him. And this book is so good. People are always, I mean, this, this, is, this is a monster book. This new edition is like, I, seriously, I think it's like, it's, it's well over a thousand pages. I don't even know how many pages. Not, and he does a new one like every yeah. year. No, he, does, he very rarely does a new one because this this so, I mean, it's so complete already. But this, we're selling this, I'm doing this as a stocking stuffer because a lot of people don't know what to buy their, their boyfriends or girlfriends for Christmas. Here's a great little gift you can get. This is normally almost a $90 book. I'm selling it at DavePalumbo.com for $54.99 for a very limited time through this, you know, Black Friday weekend. So, guys, this is a great Great girls, great book to get for your boyfriends. I'm telling you, it's 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 so it's much great. information in here. This is called what we call toilet bowl reading. You want to look stuff up. You want to know the <laughs> definitive information on anabolic steroids. Anything from anabolic steroids, GHs, all the peptide. He's got everything in here. Every SARMs. I mean, he's got pictures. It, it's it's such a fun book to kind of go through. Uh, I don't. I I told him. I said, you know what, Bill? I'm really jealous because this is the book I wanted to write. But I just I didn't have the patience to sit down. You got to be a methodical lunatic to write something this but complete. That, but that's like this what eleventh, twelfth one. Which the eleventh edition. edition. Yeah, it's eleventh. Yeah, there's there's ten there's ten prior. These things are incredible. It's so you know, complete, John. I don't know how he did it. I don't. Know, you have to have that kind of per mind that you can sit down and just block out reality and and write because. It, or or, or, have, or have someone do it for no, you. No, he did you it know, himself. He did all the research himself. He, he you know, annotated we, we all them. the research articles. Not, no, Llewellyn's a freaking genius. Yeah, yeah. It? This is it's a great book. I'm telling you. And like I said, very limited time. We're giving it at, at a very great price. I mean, this book, like I said, sells for eighty bucks normally, or um, at, or more on other sites. Fifty four ninety nine at DavePalumbo.com, guys. I'm serious. Great, great gift for the holidays. All right, there's, so there's Dave, my plug, Dave, Greg. That's what you Dave, should be doing. Were you plugging the right show, show Greg? Well, See, Greg? I'm showing Greg, See but I just also, did? I just, I, I am know. putting it, it is on sale. I know, but Greg, you see what he just did? The, the, yeah. The, he, he, he now directly hit all of, so if we have, say if we have 40,000 people watching this or viewing this or whatever. Now all those people got to see that. When you're on Instagram, now we're pre-recording this. When you're on Instagram, you, you're going to be live. You can go live or make a video and they'll see. But all the people follow you have like, tw I think you have like 20,000. I hear Greg. 20, let's do it. Hold on. Let's do a sample. Greg, you're going to go Instagram live and what you're going to do no, is you're. Wait, I just want to know. See, somebody's. Whoops, you're going to you're going to put that. You're going to auction up that flip phone. You're going to say the highest bidder will get this flip phone. I will sell it to the highest bidder. Wait, oh shit, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I, it's your phone. People will buy it. They want all the they want all the nostalgia that's in that phone. But I know we got versions of the phone. I bet you sell it for more than 500 bucks. We have to have the version. We have to have the version with all the stuff still on it. Yeah. And then we have to have the version with with it clean. And so, wait, you know what the problem the is? They want the tranny numbers in there. They want, you know, all those, wait, all those, you know, <laughs> extras. I, let me tell you something. I can't. All your drug that, suppliers. I'm, I'm not good with past. social. Like, is that I'm not uh, like a modern type of person. Like, you see, I drive a fucking car. It's got crank windows and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, one yeah but you went on YouTube, Greg. You well, if you keep this up, maybe someone will buy you a new car. No, no, I don't want a new car. See, that's, see, that's cool. what nobody understands. It's not that I want new. It's that. That's the way, you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm like old school, you man. Sound you sound know, like my dad. It's crazy. That used to be cool. It's not cool anymore. It's not cool anymore to subject. I to be cool. It used to be cool. It used to be cool to be like, you know, self self deprived, you know, <laughs> and, and you know, martyr and martyr yourself. I, I, no, I, 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 I got new computers. My kids got new shoes, and I'm wearing my shoes yeah. from high school. You know, that's, that's like. <laughs> That used to be cool. It's not anymore. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'm, living Ellis, I'm living on Ellis like, Lyon. No, he likes the green car with the white door. The red phone. The red door. We know. We know. It's a flip phone. It's a flip phone. 
Throw the fucking thing in the garbage. <laughs> I'm moving into the new world, into the modern age. You got to do it. Accept it. Just get rid of the shit. Thank, yeah, try that. thank the guy Fuck. for it. Turn it on. got to do. <laughs> the only, <laughs> hey, Greg, the only way your car would be cool is if John came down there and redid it for you. Like an old, redone car. You know, that, that would yeah, be cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could do that. No, it's yeah. bad, dude. It's fucking. I get to crank windows. No, you got to. You got to put new stuff in the old car so that it looks like it. I got a CD stuck. It was in new when it first bought. I got to poke it. I just got rid of that shit. Now, Jimmy, Jimmy is Jim? Are Jimmy? Are you responding now to us finally? Well, Jimmy, you know, it's hard to listen. I'm being respectful. You know, I'm old school too. Like Greg, I don't want to interrupt. You guys are talking about flip phone and all that day, you know. Right. And my mother, <laughs> you know, I'm giving you, I'm giving you your space, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving you your fucking space. No, but Jimmy, I get my ass. I can go. I was telling everybody. I was telling everybody how difficult it is to do what you're doing with the stick shift over there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, especially when you got no registration, no suspension. Oh, I got a you're whole. Still, this I got is still a whole going on. Fucking, I got the hole in exhaust under the floorboards, so I'm Jesus. choking in the fucking truck, and I got no fucking heat. Besides that, yeah, the fucking shifting gets a little difficult. Yeah, when you're freezing your balls off and choking and you can't see any old cab your truck. Yeah. Headliner. Yeah, and I, got a Dodge, and I got a Dodge DOT. I got to know where they are. I got to go around to the neighborhoods and back onto the expressway. Yeah, yeah it gets difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, Jimmy is old school like me, so I guarantee it. It was old school. It's hard. It was hard for Jimmy to lose his flip phone. I'm telling you, I guarantee it was a lot easier to just throw that thing. Now, Jimmy, Jimmy likes technology, Greg. Jimmy like likes this. technology. I do. I right, stepped Jimmy? up, Greg. I like technology now. You know what yeah. I mean? Ah. Also, I, I'm gonna tell you. I gotta tell you a quick story. I don't want to interrupt you what you're talking about. But go ahead. Yesterday. My boss told me to take this piece of shit. I had to go out to the farm. That's where I'm going right now. And I had to go pick up a fucking empty trailer and bring it to another fucking farm, right? And after I did that, I had to go back to the other farm, pick up a trailer with fucking Christmas trees, and I had to haul that motherfucker back to fucking Deer Park, okay? I did all that in the pouring rain. I left my house in the morning. I said, oh, it's not bad out. It was kind of warm, no rain. So I just had my shirt on and my fucking sneakers. What a mistake that was, right? I fucking stopped <laughs> pouring rain. Pouring I get to the fucking farm, there's mud all over the fucking place, I'm slipping and sliding, I gotta hook up the tractor to the trailer, I'm cranking the fucking legs up, I'm getting rained on, spinning on, I gotta get back in the truck, now I'm soaked, I got no fucking heat in the truck, I'm freezing my balls off, and I can't see out the windows, because all the windows are getting fogged up, because there's no fucking heat in the truck, so now I gotta open the fucking goddamn windows, and freeze my balls off, because I can't see where the fuck I'm going, you understand me? That's the kind of fucking day I had, fucking all day till about one o'clock. I finally had to go to my house, park this fucking truck, go inside and change my underwear, my socks, my fucking, my fucking condoms filled up with water. You name it, I had to fucking, I had to get on fucking, I had to put all my joy shit on. That's the kind of shit. And then I finally got my Jeep back last night. The motherfucker calls me up after fucking two weeks. He says, yeah, Jim, your Jeep's ready. I said, oh, oh yeah, it's ready. What the fuck was wrong with the Jeep now? Oh, well, you know, uh, uh, something happened with the fucking axle and the pin. I had to send it out to another. I said, I thought Lee Miles had it. They were like experts. Well, his friend had to take it. His friend? He's Lee Miles. He had to send it out to his fucking friend. He goes, don't worry, calm down. You'll have it. You'll have it tonight. <laughs> fucking, I was fucking Friday night. That was Friday night. So Saturday, the guy calls me, Lee Miles. I said, where's my Jeep? Oh, my friend still got it. He had a hard time with the, with the axle. I said, you're kidding me, right? I thought you were Lee Miles. He goes, well, I, he had my, my, I had a hard time. I had to send it out. I said, Jesus Christ, am I getting the fucking thing Monday? I still got to get put brakes on the fucking thing. Yeah, he goes, you're going to have it. We're going to set it back. Uh, Han, the Germans, is going to put the brakes on. All right, finally. Monday comes, what happens? Go fucking Jeep. I call up John on the dealer. Go, where's my Jeep? Oh, they still got it. They're going to, it's got to come back. You know, maybe tonight, tomorrow. I said, listen, motherfucker. That fucking Jeep better be fucking ready tonight, or I'm coming down to that fucking shop and I'm gonna burn that motherfucker down. Put you in it. I'm telling you right now. Calls me fucking two hours later. Your Jeep's done. Come and get it. Yeah, I thought so. So I went down and I got the fucking Jeep. Fucking unbelievable. Uh, 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 uh,
was cutting out. Unbelievable. <laughs> you all, you only get a little bit of Jimmy the Bull. We don't give you too much every week because we don't want we don't, we don't want to overload you. You know. <laughs> But but how, but how about that tufted seventies headliner he's got up there going on? Yeah. Yeah. He's cool. He's that seventies eighteen wheeler headliner look he's got. Look at that. It's old school though. That's what that, I'm that is old about. school right there. That headliner. That, that oh was yeah, good. that's that, that's old school right there, bro. That's old school. So right how there. many how many gears is that, Jimmy? How many speeds are you doing? Eight, 18, 18, 18 so, gears. So explain that, how you do with the hot mid-range and the hot uh, over, you know. Yeah, you, so you split every gear. So what you do is when you got it in gear like this here, there's a switch on the side. You switch it up, right, and you let go of the gas, and it goes into another gear. Before you switch that, you pull it out of, the, you pull it out of there, you go up to the next gear, all right, now you're in seventh gear. Now what you do is you, as you got it in seventh gear, you hit the splitter, and then you let off the gas, and you hit the gas again, now you're in seven and a half. That's how it goes. And then you take it out, and you go back out to eight gear, and it's just so on and so on. That's how you know you got to you can split all the gears. Up to one, how many? It sounds like my car. It's like it's like uh, eighteen <laughs> gears altogether. So you had, you can shift eighteen times going forward. Yeah, sixteen. How many? How many 18, reverse? Because then you got reverse and low too, so it's like sixteen gears, and then you got a uh, reverse, and then you got a low a low low gear too. That That's ceiling looks like a 1970s headboard. You yeah, this is all the uh, button. What do they call it? Button and tough, wow. tough and button. Yeah, what the fuck? From the eight leather wheelers. Remember from the movie Convoy? Remember? Yeah, of course I remember. But dude, that looks like you remember in the 1970s you watch a porn movie when the chicks had the big. <laughs> you know, you know, how about Stallone? How about Stallone? And when he was doing the when he had the fucking oh, yeah, over, the top, over the top, over the top, yeah, over the top. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey Jimmy, you should get that in there. <laughs> Jimmy, with your, uh, with, with your gloves. I want to see you wearing... Yeah, you should, yeah. I put the handle right here with the fucking cable, and I fuck got the weights hanging in the middle over here. With your Jimmy the Bull gloves. Jimmy, are you... Yeah, my you boss wouldn't care what I did to this fucking thing anyway, man. Yeah. Jimmy, what are you doing? They don't give two shits. Now, speaking, speaking of retro, guys, um, we had the NPC Nationals this past weekend, which was in Orlando, Florida, which is going to be exactly where the Olympia is going to be held. And we got a new champ, Jonathan Withers, who won the heavyweight in the overall. And he's only, it was only his second show ever. So I'm going to be interviewing him right after this uh, show is over. And I don't know if you guys saw the pictures, but the guy had like a throwback Mike Francois physique. Have you seen that? It looked good. I was impressed. I like that old school, yeah. heavy duty training looking physique, right? Yeah, he looked go old school. Like he was, yeah, blue collar muscle, as, as they yeah. used to say. Yeah. Blue collar muscle, yeah. He, had, he did have those Branch Warren-ish legs, too, you know, if you right, like. Right, right. Mike Francois, yeah. Branch Warren right in there. I yeah. Like the I like it. I like that. I like that shit. He's got a good look. Like you know, they, it, seems like, it seems hey, like it seems like we, we read, you know how, like, my father always had two sets of ties, the, the wide ones and the, and the narrow ones. And he used to tell me the reason he has both of them is because they go back and forth into style. The ties never go out of style, he said. So... Same thing with physiques. It seems like we came back with this classic division, back to the classic physiques, and now kind of we're I think we're building again to like the more massive, like rugged looking physiques from the from the nineties. Yeah, and and you know what? I think these guys are paying more, a lot more attention to their aesthetics in that regard because I yeah I'm noticing the waists are getting progressively yeah smaller. better. That's a good thing. It is. It really is. You know, and I. It, look, it's part of the deal, man. <clears throat> when you're setting out to be the best in this in the country, go to get your pro card. I mean, this is a big deal, and all of these all of these facets of what it takes to be a champion have got to be mastered. And and you know, it's not just the training in the gym or sticking to your diet. It's understanding how to do everything, all of the things that you can possibly do to to, to win. And, and it's evident today that these guys are paying much more attention to it because right. I, I'm, I'm seeing I'm seeing with this as an example, a lot higher quality physiques coming out today. There's a lot more help, too. There's a lot more help and knowledge out there. There's a lot of guys that that, that paved the way, you know, and now well, Dave, I got to thank you. Dave, I got to I got to thank you very much, Dave. I got to thank you very Why? much. The last show. You said, please help Jimmy the Bull get a fucking car or a fucking, get a bicycle or something, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, one of my uh, fans reached out to me, and he texted me, and I messaged, says, Jimmy, Jimmy the Bull, he goes, I can't help you get a new car, a, a, 
a new lease. He goes, but can you redo my basement, my floors? I said, I said yeah, you got a deal. Oh, that's good. I got good. a fucking job out of it, bro. Oh, oh good. Really? All right. Talk about marketing. Let uh, Jimmy the Bull does redoes I, floors. He does I, wood floors. He's got I, some of the best work I've ever seen. That's yeah. the Jimmy the Bull I, I remember. I wish, so, I wish I had photos. He did a maple floor in my bedroom. Remember that third floor bedroom I had, John? Yep. yep. He did a maple floor and he bleached it white with a with a polyurethane coat on it. To this day, it's the it's the greatest wood floor I've ever seen. My, ever yeah. ever. Absolutely. What, what, what floor was that, Dave? What, the maple. Bedroom? You did a maple floor on my third floor of my bedroom, and you remember that, and you bleached it white. Oh yeah, that was that was hard to do that, man. You actually did it twice for me. You redid it because I spilled. I had a fish tank in there that spilled on the floor, and you redid it again for me. But uh, and it came out better the yeah, second time. Was, yeah, we because we didn't get it white oh. enough. I, yeah. we, wanted, we needed a little whiter. Yeah. Yeah. And I was just. You you went away for that job. I did that. I did that. Yeah, I, I left. I said, Jimmy, I don't want to see anything. I want to come back, and I want the floor to be done. I don't care what you do. <laughs> and he did it. That's what the happened? old Jimmy the Bull. Yeah, he did a he did a marble wall in, in a house one time. He showed me pictures. You and your brother built it, Jimmy. It was this big marble wall where you cut out the the holes for the for the plugs and everything. It was it was like a sculpture. It was incredible. So anyway, if anyone wants to hire Jimmy the Bull. For wood floors, some, refinishing, I... he does tile. He's great. He really is great. <clears throat> What's the best way to contact you, Jimmy, if people want to hire you? <laughs> We're doing a Call marketing Greg show Greg. today. What? Call Greg's cell phone. If people want, people want to hire you, how do they get in touch with you? Do they call Greg's flip phone? <laughs> I think we lost him. We'll find <laughs> out. We'll get a we'll get a number. I don't know if he wants to give his cell phone out or not. Oh, Greg flip phone. I'm gonna come down and do your floor here like your house, babe. Next month I'm coming down. All right, great. Talk. I need my floors done. Gra Jimmy, uh, if anyone wants to hire you, how do they get in touch with you? Just uh, uh I don't know. I mean, they can message me. Get a hold of Dave. <laughs> what a great businessman he is, right? I guess, right? I don't know. I'm like, hey, look, I'm like fucking Greg, man. I'm old school. I don't, I'm not Damn a media boy. guy, bro. I don't know. You, know, you have a phone. Are you allowed to get boy, you? That's what I want to do. Let me tell you something. If I had these goddamn phones when I was younger, running around the world, lifting them fucking weights, I'd be like fucking Adam Schwarzenegger today. How about that? <laughs> not a All boy, shit Jimmy. I fucking did. How about that? There you go, Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy Colecchio on Instagram. Yeah, we didn't have this fucking technology when we were younger. Direct no. message Jimmy the Bull on yeah. his Instagram thing. Yeah, that's, that's probably the best way. That's the best Jimmy way. the Bull's on Instagram. All right. You know, that's... you're making it more. You you guys make it out to be so much more difficult than it is. And it, 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 it's fucking simple. I mean, yeah. come on. It's, it's a pain I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I need some help. You can look at me at 60 fucking years old. By the way, Jimmy the Bull, happy birthday. Oh, thank you, Greg. Thank you, brother. Oh, wait, when's yes. his birthday? Oh, today's your birthday. Friday, Friday. Friday. Black Friday. Black Friday. Black Friday is, is Jimmy the Bull's birthday, yeah. That's right, brother. <laughs> if you ever want to understand why he has such a tough life, now yeah. you know. His birthday, Black Friday. <laughs> Black Friday. <laughs> only me, only me, motherfucker, only me. Sorry. Now he's gonna get a hooker named Black Friday. Come right. on, whatever yeah. don't fucking kill me makes me fucking stronger. How about that? That a boy, Jimmy. All right, so oh, we got, hold on, we got Jimmy, we got Jimmy a job. We got Mr. G some cookies. Mr. G uh, is Mr. Potts Protein .net If you want to order any of the Jumbo Palumbo cookies or any of the other stuff for the for the holidays. Peanut butter cups. Oh, we got candy. We got we got new peanut. We got I got Where? peanut butter. We got a peanut butter and jelly peanut butter cup. I think you got. To, I think you got too many skews, Mr. G. What? I think you have too many skews. You know what that means? No. We. I have. I have a whole. I hired three people to make all our candy. Oh, you did. Oh, oh okay. All right. That's yeah, good. So, so we got so we got the angry you got the angry hot dog George don't forget yeah. <laughs> keep that quiet I'm, I gotta you, yeah angry dogs they're hot they're hot chicken and beef hot dogs give me the bullet dog give me the bullet dogs bro wait a minute check it out how about this on if you order on Black Friday which is Jimmy's birthday you get a you know you get a, the dog at half price you get a so. free hot dog yeah. And, 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 and you get to share seven years of Jimmy's bad luck. Yeah. You know what, John? Let me. I got a good business. Mind. L listen to this. Can you imagine? Seriously, it has to be down here in Florida because I I got to be able to view this. Get. I'm gonna buy. 
I'm going to buy one of these old like ice cream trucks, you know, from like the 70s, and I'm going to have you redo it for me. And we're going to make a hot dog truck out of this thing, and we're going to get Mr. G and Jimmy the nice. Bull, and we're going to let them drive around in this hot dog truck to all the construction sites here in Cape Coral and Fort Myers, because, you know, they're doing all the construction. They're going to make a fortune. People will love them. The, imagine them fighting in that truck, arguing with each other constantly with the, with the hot dogs and cooking up the hot dogs no, and Mr. No. G's cooking. No, no, you know what? I, I, it no, would be I, the greatest business of all time. No, no, I don't want to send them to construction sites. I want to send them to sorority houses. And then <laughs> no, they, wait Every, they would never argue. You know what they would do? You know what your problem would be? George would get out and tell the whole construction site. He'd be giving him like life coach stuff, yeah. right? <laughs> you should work harder because if you work harder, you know, he would keep you back. You know yeah, that. I'd be, I'd, be, I'd be in the window pushing the hot dogs. Yeah, yeah, you'd be <laughs> cooking. You'd be flipping the hot dogs. Right. Jimmy would have a hot dog in his mouth saying how many you want. Yeah, yeah, he'd have the he'd, yeah, Jimmy would have to have the cigar hanging out of his mouth, and Mr. G would have to be dressed as like a, a clown or something. Maybe, yeah, I, he's you gonna know. wear that pork floor hat. <laughs> It would be the greatest. People no. would love it. It would liven their whole li lives up. It would be no, tremendous. Every dress as, a, as an angry hot dog. No, yeah. no, no. He could dress up as a hot dog, yeah. <laughs> no, you know what? He would be fucking Hulk Hogan. He'd have his Hulk Hogan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. His hot dog. Because if you don't buy any fucking hot dog. They'd be so successful, Hulk Hogan would sue him for, like, fucking impersonating him. Dude, he does Hulk Hogan better than Hulk Hogan does Hulk Hogan. Yeah. What's great is that for every hot dog you buy, you get a life coaching lesson. There you so, go. Oh you got Mr. G working the crowd in front of the truck. You got you got Jimmy the Bull with a pork pie hat on in the window, freaking yanking dogs out of the hot or the dirty with water. a cable crossover in the other hand. He'd have him. Hey, no, we, we would go to every gym. We would go to every gym. We we would have different gym locations. We go to. You no, guys would be you guys would be so popular. You would make so and much you know money. What? Just because it would it be did. like an act. It would be like an act on the road. It would be like a vaudeville. You took it, uh, take it on the road. And, and, and you'd be spreading. Well, we gotta, we gotta put it on the show. And John, we'd have to hire a crew. We'd have to hire a crew, like when we got Tyler, to go film them, like for like a reality show. It would be. Or a drone. You know, I, you gotta come up with a good name, like for the, for the, you know, it would have to be like dogs, Dave, and the bull hey, and dogs. Dave, or get the like truck. That, you know? Dave, get the truck. Build it and they'll come. Get the truck, Dave. <laughs> You'll come, but Mr. Jim, but come. Jimmy won't. That's You'll the come, problem. But Jimmy won't. <laughs> I'll build no, Jimmy will come. Here. Jimmy's coming. Jimmy's coming. God Dave, has a Dave, I'm going to be 60 fucking one Friday, bro. What a, I gave you guys a great idea. What a freaking genius idea that is. You get a I, I retro. Agree. You got to get a retro uh, truck. And you got to like dress screen. it up. Airstream trailer looking thing. Right. You shrink wrap it, whatever you know you want to call it. You, it could be right. like, uh, <clears throat> remember they had, the, what was that, that show on in the 70s? It was called uh, something in the bear. BJ and the bear? Oh, God. It could be like Mr. Mr. G and the bull or something like that. I don't know. You, 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 it's like an act yeah, on the road. <laughs> Look, everything's going that way anyway. You have, you have food trucks, warehousing. No more storefronts. Storefronts are, are becoming obsolete. Who wants to pay rent? You, you don't need to. You drive the truck. Hey, how about this? Well, no, everybody's selling Amazon. online. They deliver the hot dog right to your house. That's like right. Amazon. And if you buy a lot, you get a free signed photo of my of That's my right. cell phone. You might as well, well have a, a, a so you sell those. Remember the old bomb pops? Those big ice pops? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You got to have like bomb pops in there too because on hot days, these, these construction workers are going to want something white, to cool off. Ones. <laughs> you know what uh, well, I love the idea. We should fucking act on it. You know what I'm saying? Well, you're we the one who won't on come it. down here. We we're we're acting on it. Dave's going to get the truck first. Get a drone that delivers so the Listen, guys... Listen, I got the, I got the veterans' uh, discharge papers. Because I don't know if you can get a vendor's license, but uh, you, they give it to veterans. So All right, well, there you go. I do, too. All right, we'll Jimmy, talk I'm off camera. I'm a veteran, too. I'm Jimmy, telling you, I want I'm you guys down here. This is a perfect little business for you guys. All right, there you go. Excellent. Mr. Hey, G, so you got they, kicked out of the military, didn't you? Have a drone on the truck, so the guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. What did you say? Hold Were you on. kicked out of the military, or you left? No. Home? Oh. Up to the I didn't get kicked out. I got out of, no, I didn't. Without having to get. You only. They wanted. They said, "Please oh, leave." George, they asked you. you to, uh, to, they begged you to leave. Yeah, I was in the. I was in the Air Force. I was stationed weeks. in Spain. In Spain, I was a cook. For how long did you last? Six weeks. No, I. I, I went two years. And oh, you what, did? what happened is. I was stationed in in uh, in Spain, in Torrejo, in Spain, which is five miles from Madrid. And we had this tech sergeant. Oh, I, had I, didn't this, know. 
I didn't yeah, know you were in the Air Force, bro. Yeah, I had this super bar. I had a super bar. So I stationed in Spain. I was a cook. I had this, and we used to cook for the hospital. We used to cook breakfast. We started like uh, two in the morning making breakfast, and then we would we would take a break at eleven o'clock. We'd sit down and eat our stuff. So I had this new tech me. sergeant supervisor okay. from North Carolina. He didn't really like Northerners, right? And I was a New York. You, you a New Yorker none, boy? None of them. They all, they all hated right. New Yorkers, George. Me too. Right. Yeah. So, so I, I, I go to Jonathan Jeffrey Withers Quinn. joining us, NPC uh, Nationals overall champ. There he How is. you guys doing? I figured I'd let you in on the end of the after hour show, and then we'll do our own interview after. So these guys wanted to congratulate you. We were talking about you. Oh, before. awesome, man! Bro. Great Very job, awesome. man. Very good job. Thank man. you. Only a second show. Is that yes, true? Sir. Yes, sir. Show. Third, third show. Sorry. What was your first show? Second. My first show is the 2019 Ronnie Coleman Classic. Oh shit. Um, I won the overall there as well. Where are you from? It looks like a Viking. Look at him with the beard and everything. It reminds me of a Viking. Viking. Where you're from? Uh, like I'm originally from Fort Worth, Texas, but I live in Denver, Colorado now. Oh, okay. Where are you oh, trained? Denver? Are you I was... trained at Dillon's? Uh, I train there uh, two, three times a week, but okay. I work at Powerhouse Gym as a trainer. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, we're gonna. We're gonna... That's beautiful, though. That's beautiful country over there. Denver, yeah, I would, that's where I went to. I went to cook school there in the service <laughs> in, uh, in Denver, Lowry Air Force Base. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's just right up the street. Oh, it's still there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I remember. I remember going there my first right. time, and then, and then driving up to the mountains up there to go skiing. And I was with I, I was with a guy from Michigan, and we went a little a little uh, Volkswagen Bug, you know, and, and a snowstorm came. Oh. Those roads up there are crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's wild. Shit, so, all right, so Mr. Oh, Mr. G is just finishing his story, and then we're going to kick everyone off, and I'm going to get you alone. Mr. G, so you're in Spain cooking. What so happened in, in the Spain military? I'm in Spain cooking. You know, we cook, for all, we, we cook for the hospital. So the hospital has all the offices, you know, the colonels and the majors and stuff. And at 11 o'clock, we take a break. We've been working for nine hours. We all sit down and eat our breakfast. So the tech sergeant goes to me, uh, Hey, boy, you ain't taking no break. I'm like, what are you talking about? He goes, you cracked an egg. You made over easy eggs for, for the colonel, and you broke you broke one of the eggs and had to make new ones. You got to get back on that grill and learn how to cook those eggs. I'm like, really? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> fuck you. I ain't fuck, you fucking crazy. So, so anyway, so what happened is he – You don't do that in the military. Yeah, go ahead. I got in trouble, but he got in trouble for giving me an order that that you know was was retarded. So the first a first sergeant uh, is somebody who's like a counselor, you know, uh, for everyone. So I go to the first sergeant. He go Sergeant Boom was his name. He goes, uh, "Do you really like being here?" I'm like, "Nah, I'd rather go. I'd rather go back home." He goes, "I go as long as I get an honorable discharge, yo, I'm out of here." So he goes, "Okay, we'll we'll make up your papers." So. For six months, while I was while I was waiting for the papers, my, my job was to clean the, the to clean the barracks. So I really had no job. <laughs> it was unbelievable, and then I got out with an honorable discharge. John, they wanted him out of the military so badly that they gave him an honorable discharge to get him out. You imagine how what a pain in the ass he must have been. Can you imagine his brother? Bobby <laughs> no, no, you, you, you can't you can't get out of the fucking marine. I, I got news for you guys. When you join the marine corps, there ain't no getting out. Of there. But, uh, but Jimmy, that tells man. you how much he was driving him crazy. Out of fucking I used to skateboard. I used to skateboard. That tells you how crazy they, they was driving. You know how annoying that he can be they if he wants to be? They don't hand out honorable discharges like that. They, they, you gotta, they gotta really want you out. They wanted him out. Because they want you in. It, like, like Jimmy said, once you're in the Navy, once you're in, that's it. Didn't you they say you were going off the, base the, and the doing the drugs, Marine Corps, George? The Marine Corps is the worst. The Marine Corps, you can, once you sign that contract, you could not get out unless you lost a limb or you had your skull got cracked open or you lost your yeah, fucking marbles. But, but this was a unique marbles. time. I think this he lost was his 19, marbles. <laughs> this was 1978. 78, 70, when we were pulling. <laughs> when we no, were I, pulling went, I, went in, I went in 1976, brother. I went in 78. That's, that's when you got your fucking ass kicked in boot camp and they threw you right. in the fucking shower. Yeah, I did too. And, and you fucking I, screaming for your mother and nobody's right. hearing you. Jimmy, I, I, so, so in boot camp, I was the only fucking guy that, that at, at, at the end of boot camp didn't get to go out, you know, out to the, the town. Because they have to... Town? <laughs> what fucking town? When I was in Paris Island, there was no fucking town. You were locked up in a fucking 
San Antonio, Texas. So what happens? Is- Carolina, Paris Island. The worst so- fucking time. I went in July, the worst time of year, brother. The worst so it- time. John- so Jonathan even- must think we're all fucking out of our minds. All right, I'm wrapping this thing up. We, I got interviews to do today. Guys, I love you, man. Have a happy and love safe you, Thanksgiving. And, uh, Dave, happy Dave, Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Man. I love, I love Dave, you all. Dave, I got a one minute. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Dave. I got a one minute speech. What? You, got, you have a 15 second speech. What is it? Dave, hold on. A fair wrote. This is what a fair wrote. The guy I spoke to last night. All okay. right. So I want to say, what, give me three. A lot of people out there that listen to the show are depressed and sad. And, and a lot of some of these people feel like, they, you know, their life is over. You know? So when we do this show, you guys get to realize is that we're helping a lot of people, uh, tens of thousands of people out there that look to this show for hope. So this guy I, I spoke to last night. And he wrote this thing. He goes, have you ever felt lost? Like there's no light at the end of the tunnel. How many of you have heard that song, Amazing Grace? I was once lost. According to the dictionary, lost is defined as unable to find one's way. Now you might ask, who provides you with the map to find your way? A higher power. Have you ever asked for help when it needed? Help can be provided by you by an unknown source. It could be a podcast, a video show. It could be a conversation late at night with a friend. Providing someone with your geographical coordinates can help you see the light from a different person's perspective. Conditional love is based on what you do. God's love is not like that love. We see today a lot of convenience. That is, I will love you as long as I can benefit from it. God loves does not have any motivation or hidden agenda. God's love endures forever. Michael Jackson wrote a song called Man in the Mirror. One of the lyrics is, I'm starting with the man in the mirror. I'm asking him to change his ways. What does that mean? It means waking up every morning and thanking a higher power and finding ways how I can be a better person every day. Finding that purpose that drives you to be a good person person in both mind and soul. Many of us today hide behind a social media profile, highlighting the best. At the end of the day, you must be able to look at yourself in the mirror and be happy with the image you see and go to bed thinking, I put in an honest day's work in. No trial tribulation that you will face is beyond the limit of what you can endure. As you need to know, it is that God will never let you down. He knows your threshold and will never let you be pushed past your limits. You must ask for him for help. Ask and you shall receive. In closing, I ask, <laughs> is that your steering wheel or your spare tire? Amen. Hey, Amen. Have a great Thanksgiving, guys. We'll I'm see you next week. I'm a flip phone. That's what I am. I'm a flip phone. <laughs>